today we have a top secret watch to show you guys and uh, okay well technically not top secret because there's videos and pictures of it which I'm about to show you they also have a, a Instagram page where there's plenty of information about the watch and I believe they're up on Kickstarter currently I'll put a link to that down in the description below but it is inspired by the SR71 which isn't a bad inspiration I'll throw a picture up of the SR71 pretty incredible and I think they pull it off really well let's flip the camera and take a look at base watches so steve papa the person who is behind this brand is also a youtuber he is a friend of the channel i really love his channel i respect his opinion on watches and obviously he's starting his own micro brand so he's using a lot of those opinions to create his own watch and I think he's done a really good job. I'm gonna get right into it. So it comes in pretty simple packaging. It's just a cardboard box. Inside is some cutout foam for the watch and a strap. That's really it. There you go. The uh, foam is actually very, very deep. The watch is very deep inside the foam. There you go. And then there is an extra strap. This is just a Neato strap in black. Now, the strap that comes on here is actually really good looking. It has sort of a red, and white motif that goes very well with the dial because it's a black leather strap and then you have that red stitching and a line of white stitching and that goes with the red and the white that they chose to use on the dial for the indices. Now uh, all of this is loomed and they've actually put this in a red loom for the first 15 minutes. I've seen this in use on other watches uh, however I think this is the first time that I've seen it on a micro brand. I'm not sure, I haven't seen on many micro brands in the past, but uh, that is pretty cool. Now they're gonna make a few changes to this watch. I think one of the biggest changes that they're going to make is the logo. So the logo is going to be the base logo, not the B logo. So I think they're gonna keep that B logo for other things, but uh, it's going to say base on the dial. I actually like that a lot better. There's a two part dial here. So you have sort of a matte finished outer track, that's the minute track with the hour uh, indices on there that are painted on. And then you have a center area that's sort of a sunburst pattern, which looks very, very good. And then you have sword hands. The sword hands will be longer in the production model as well. So another little bit of a change. You have the date at six o'clock. You can see three dates, obviously pointing to the center is the uh, current date. And there is AR coating on this sapphire crystal and when i move it around it's very hard to see on camera but this is a red ar coating again something i have seen before but a little bit different uh, i like that they've done this again i don't think i've seen that from a micro brand in the past you have a red second hand uh, all this theme you know sort of matches the black and red and white theme that they've gone with on this watch looks very good, gives it a little bit of depth, that extra sort of uh, area of the dial that is sort of a little bit lower than that outer track. I like that. Uh, nice crown, grippy, very grippy. It's not huge, but you have these very large crown guards. It almost looks like an asymmetrical case. It sort of reminds me of a Hamilton uh, or uh, you know some of those vintage dive watches from the you know 1960s, 1970s that had those asymmetrical cases. You have these very large crown guards on the right side of the watch and it gives it an asymmetrical look almost. Now this is a 40 millimeter watch. Let's see how it measures though. So 41.4, depending on where you grab it, but at the bezel, I believe it's more like a 40 millimeter. So I think it probably wears like a 40 millimeter maybe a little bit bigger. I wouldn't say it's 41 and change. I would say it's probably in between a 40 and a 41. That's how it would wear. And then the thickness on here, this is an NH35. So you're getting an NH35 in here, 11.6 millimeters. I think you're getting 100 meters of water resistance. You get a screwing crown and you get a screwing case back. Like I said, the crown, very, very grippy. And then the lug to lug. The lug to lug on here is 47.7. You do get drilled lugs, which is great. And the crown, the crown is on the smaller side, but like I said, you get that uh, those crown guards. So it does add to the side of the case. So I think having a crown that's 5.6, uh, 5.7, 5.8 millimeters definitely works. Really nice strap on here. It's very soft uh, and has quick release, just nice. And I like that they added this little extra stitching color on the side here. It works really well. 
This is sort of an IWC style buckle, uh, which works really well as well. Uh, they put uh, the B logo on some of the other buckles that they're using. And again, I think they're gonna be switching over to this base logo uh, right there. So that'll be on the buckles that are included. Now, I believe this comes on a strap and you get the NATO strap, but if I am wrong, I will put a comment down below. And then this is a PVD coated case. So it is a PVD coated black case. Uh, the case back is also PVD coated. I believe that they are not going to be putting the coating on the case back from some of the notes that I have. And also they're going to be putting the updated logo work on the case back as well. So to match the logo on the dial and the logo on the uh, buckles for the straps as well. So there's a, a few things that they're gonna be changing. They're also gonna be updating. They're gonna be putting a deeper engraving on that case back as well, because it's a little bit faint right now. And that's pretty much it. I think they're also resizing the packaging because like I said, it was pretty, uh, it's pretty funny. They could watch sort of swimming in the packaging, but that's fine. So there you go. So what are they charging for this watch? On the Kickstarter that is live right now, they are charging $350 for this. Uh, NH35 powered, uh, sort of very interesting style pilot's watch. Now, uh, once that Kickstarter is up, I think the price goes up to $450. At that price, I think it is on the more expensive side. Uh, it's an interesting watch, but it's definitely a bargain at that $350 price point, and I would definitely go that route rather than obviously spending $100 more on a watch that you can get for $350. Absolutely makes sense, go that route. Uh, anyway, quickly, let's throw it on my wrist and then we're gonna do a quick loom shot. So today, I have on my Mito Ocean Star, this is the Ocean Star Tribute, sort of a vintage inspired uh, Mito, uh, a reissue of a Mito that was uh, from the 1960s, I think. Uh, anyway, very awesome watch, really beautiful bracelet on here. Uh, I really love this watch. I'm thinking about selling it recently, but uh, I go back and forth on that. So, here is uh, the base on my seven and a half inch wrist. And what they're doing with their straps is pretty cool as well. And I have the brown one here and I could show you that just in a second. But there you go, on my seven and a half inch wrist, it does wear like a 40 millimeter watch. Uh, it just looks good. It's a really stealthy, uh, good looking watch. I think it would look really good on this brown leather strap as well. You can see that brown leather strap, but you can see what I was talking about. Uh, what they're doing with the ends of the strap. So they're just cutting it a little bit different. Sort of kind of matches their logo a little bit. You know, those little angles. I like it. It looks good. Very, very nice. It's thin also. Very thin for 100 meters. Excellent. Like I said, I'm friends with Steve, but I would tell you guys this truth. If I didn't like this watch, uh, obviously I wouldn't even agree to review it. Uh, and that's why it's here. I like the look and I thought the price was good. So here we are. So very quickly, Let's do a loom shot. I'm not sure how red loom holds up. Red loom, black loom, those sort of things don't hold up very well, but let's check it out either way. Could be good, might be uh, very liberally applied. I don't know yet, so let's check it out. So you can see the hands are very liberally applied. I wish that there was a little bit more loom on that red area, because it fades very quickly. It's almost gone already. Um, that's because they're using red loom there. Anything besides white loom, cream, even cream loom like old radium doesn't last as long as bright white loom. It's just the nature of the beast, right? So very liberally applied on the hands, the indices and the minute track, not as good as the hands I would say, but nicely applied. Uh, I wish there was a running seconds that I could see as well in the dark. That's always nice. But other than that, decent. I think that red area, is a little bit, you know, lacking in the loom. That's all I would say. Uh, other than that, a very cool watch with some awesome inspiration behind it, the SR71. They meant for this to look like an instrument from the cockpit of an SR71. So obviously, I think they achieved that. Uh, the only thing here, the only fault that I would put against this watch is that red loom, but I think it's actually worth it. You know, you have that red accent. It looks really good during the day. So it doesn't look good at night, but there you go. You can see, I've been talking for quite some time and those hands have not faded whatsoever. Uh, the indices haven't faded. The minute track has. So there you go. And the red really almost faded immediately. So unfortunately it doesn't hold any loom. 
Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I think $350 for this watch is pretty good. Tell me what you guys think. I wanna hear from you. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it will help support the channel. However, it doesn't cost you anything extra. Anyway, I will put a link to the Kickstarter for this watch down below as well. So uh, check out the notes down below if you are interested. Thanks for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.